Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to be explaining how to manage your sales inside of your Zoho CRM system. I'm going to be going over how to use your accounts, your contacts, your deals, sales pipeline and use leads as well and then obviously converting a lead into an account contact and a deal using the deals pipeline to obviously go through the different stages of the sale also adding products to your deal and creating quotes for your deals as well which you can send over to the customer to then hopefully close your deal as one so i'll be going over all of that and i've chaptered everything below so you are more than welcome to skip ahead or just skip to any part you'd like to if you so wish um, finally, if you are signing up to Zoho CRM, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my sign up link below. It really does help me out. There's one for the EU if you're based in the EU and one in the US if you are in the US. So without further ado, let's get into this quick tutorial. So once you log into Zoho CRM, you will of course come to the home screen. Now the first place we wanna to go to manage sales is our leads area. I like to describe the leads area inside of the Zoho CRM system as a bit of a dumping ground. Now it's a dumping ground in a good sense, not a bad sense. Um, it's a place where you can go and put any information that someone may have collected about a particular record into the Zoho CRM system without having to create an account, a contact and a deal. Because if you did, if you had to do that for every single piece of data, every potential sale, then the system would become very, very cluttered very quickly. The data would slowly degrade. It wouldn't become as reliable and as useful. So what you do is if you have, if there's a smallest chance that someone is going to become a deal or they, you want to make a sale to someone, but you're not entirely convinced, you're not so sure, put them in the leads area. And this is the leads area here. And from there, you, we, what I'll demonstrate in this video is then transferring or converting a lead into a contact account and a deal and then managing the deals accordingly. But firstly, I'm gonna go ahead and create a lead. So I've just had some information or I've just met someone and I believe there's, there's a chance, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced, but there's a chance that this particular person may turn into a deal later on in the line, down the line. So I'm gonna create a lead for this particular person and I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. So now I've gone ahead and created our lead or I've put in some of the basic information. Just gonna walk you through the lead status and the lead store source. So we've got status, so it's really useful and really important to use the lead status field. So if you just put attempted contact or junk lead, lost lead or not contacted. So in this instance, let's say we've just met the individual, we've not actually contacted them, we've not tried to nurture that lead yet, but we have so we've not contacted them, so I'm going to leave them as a lead status as that. And then the lead source, where did you find this This potential deal? Where did you find this person? Was it a chat, let's say, for example? Um, and then industry, again, what industry is this particular lead working? So you can select that as well. Um, and again, annual revenue, a few other pieces of information here. And then you can put their address information down the bottom if you have it as well. So now I've gone ahead and created this lead. I'm going to press the save button and we can manage our leads in the leads area. As you can see, we have a whole host of different things we can do, like add, add notes, attachments, and we can even add products, which I'll come on to later. We can manage their emails, campaign if we um, involve them in any campaigns to try and nurture that lead, turn it into a sale. So I'm gonna head back out and just give you a quick look at what the leads area looks like. This is it. And then we can also use the lead status to um, or the filters to find the lead status for people that we've not contacted using the filters on the left hand side here. If you're not familiar with that, feel free to check out another video that I've done on my YouTube channel and that should explain everything to do with filters. But now, okay, we've created our lead and let's say we've decided, yes, there is a very good chance that this particular lead is going to turn into business. I'm now very confident it is worth having them saved as a contact account and a deal inside of your Zoho CRM system. Now, as an individual or as a business, you may have differentiating factors that um, enable that transition to occur. You may have a threshold or something like that that needs to be met in order to convert that particular lead. So I recommend do have something in place um, just so you that, that's a tick box, right? I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to convert them. So once you are happy with that, we want to go onto our page here, press the convert button. So we're on that particular lead, press the convert button up the top right hand corner here. So I'm going to press convert. And this is where we go ahead and we can either add it to an existing account or create a new account. So I'm going to create a new account. And then again, it's consequently going to create a new contact record for myself as well. And that is using solely the data that we entered in for the leads. So it's 
based on the CRM, the relevant, like the website, for example, that will go to CRM crew, which is the account, and then the contact to Nick Boardman and the email address, for example, will be associated with Nick Boardman. So you can understand how that is then being split up. And then we can also create a new deal as well. So I'm gonna do that. We obviously wanna create a deal. Um, so I'm just gonna put in a random amount and then you can see here the deal name. If you've got a structure for assigning deal names, you need to use that. We've got the closing date. So when is this particular deal going to come to an end or when do you anticipate it's gonna to come to an end? If you knew the answer to that, you'd be a very rich man, I'm sure. So we'll put the 31st of December, it's gonna end then. We've got qualification. So this is our different stages of the sales pipeline. So if you've got multiple pipelines, you can select between the different two and then select the stage. But I'd always recommend starting off at the very beginning of the sales pipeline, which in this case is qualification. So we've qualified that particular lead. Okay, um, if you want to jump ahead for whatever reason, maybe you've missed or you're catching up or whatever you are, it's more than possible, you can just select a different stage. Campaign source, if this came from a, a campaign, you can go ahead and associate and then the contact role as well. So are they the purchase decision maker, um, engineering lead, product management, any of that, if you have that information to hand, that is always very useful. The more data we can track, the better we can manage our records. So once we're happy with that, we wanna then press the convert button and we know it's gonna create a contact, an account and a deal. So I press convert and then as you can see, it has been successfully converted and we can head over to our account, our contact and our deal. And if we go to your contacts and accounts, you will find them. Now, if we head over to our deals, this is our new deal that's just been entered through. And now we wanna go ahead and start managing this particular particular deal so we can go ahead and click on that deal now we've converted it and as you can see it has converted successfully and we can move it through the different stages of our um, of our pipeline so obviously it's qualified so we can move it from qualified to needs analysis now needs analysis this is entirely open to interpretation or what i do strongly recommend you do is customize the sales pipeline to fit your business and how your business wants to operate but as we move from qualification needs analysis, we can slowly trundle through the different stages, hopefully to meet our deadline in a couple of days time on the 31st of December. So let's say needs analysis and then value proposition. Okay, that's brilliant. So we're probabilities changing our expected revenues going up and um, the stage is obviously changing as well. But there are other things that we want to do. So the pipeline's really simple. And as you can see, once we get to the end, which I'll come on to, you can close one or close lost. But we also want to be managing products and quotes. So in order to do so, what I recommend doing, and I recommend doing this for all deals, is when you are selling a product, use the related list on the left-hand side and go down to your products and then associate the products that you're selling with this particular deal. So I'm gonna add a product. I've already got a test product added, so I'm just gonna use that. And as you can see, we've got a product code, we've got unit price, um, vendor name, if, if we had that set up, that would be there, taxable tax rate, etc. So we can add that to our deal. And now we've got this product associated with our deal, which means that anyone that goes to look at that particular deal can go, oh, we're selling that particular product. Okay, that's, that's easy and useful to manage. Um, that's useful information, we can see what's going on. And we can change this accordingly. Let's say we have multiple products, and this could be products for anything, if it's software, for example, um, and different packages, and then we can manage all of that, and we can add and remove as we go along. So let's say we've gone from value proposition to ID decision makers. Okay, we're at 60% probability of this sale going through, and then we wanna to go to proposal and price quote. So, We've ID the decision makers, they seem fairly happy, right? Now I need to do a quote. So this is the other thing that we wanna do when it comes to deals, we wanna manage our quote. So on the left-hand side, under products, it may not necessarily be under products, but on the related list, you will have your quotes area. And this is where we can either assign if you've already created a quote, or we can create a new quote. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna press the new button. and. As you can see, our quote page has loaded up. Some of the information has been pre-filled as we've come directly from the deals area. So I'm just gonna give this a CRM crew deal quote. Now I recommend having a specific name so it looks fairly uniform inside of your quote area. Uh, that definitely does help. And then we can create when our valid, when is this particular quote valid till. So we'll put the 31st of December again, and then the quote stage can be draft, negotiated, delivered on hold, confirmed. So if I put draft, I leave it as draft, and we can update as we go along. Contact name again has been associated automatically, as has the account name, because we've come directly from the deal. 
and then we can select the calendar uh, the carrier this again should, would probably need changing dependent on where you are in the world and all a whole host of other factors as well then we can put our address information if we need to i'm not going to bother as this is just an example but um, obviously if you are sending out a real quote then you would need to go ahead and do that one thing you can do is just enter in the billing information press the copy address and then copy from billing to shipping if if and only if it's going to the same place if your billing and your shipping are entirely different, unfortunately, you're going to have to enter all of that information out. OK, and then finally, we need to add our product. So our product we added to a deals. I don't understand why it doesn't just transfer automatically. But hey, we can't have everything in this world. So I'm going to select the product and then again, the quantity as well. So let's say we're selling five of this particular product or we're quoting for five of this particular product. List price is 10. Again, we can change that. Um, we can add discounts if we need to. Uh, the tax rate can be adjusted on the product page when you set up products and I've done a video on my channel on how to create a new product so feel free to check that out if you would like to if you need any help with that um, and then obviously we get our grand total etc etc now I'm going to go ahead and now save our quote and our quote has been created and we've come back to our deals so I've created our first quote but obviously we now want to send out our quote so if you press the three dotted button we get a few options we can export to PDF where we can then download that quote and then send it out directly from our own email or we can send mail directly out of our Zoho CRM system so it's entirely up to you which one you want to do um, sending mail if you if you've got your email set up on Zoho CRM which is really really simple uh, i think i've done a video on that as well so feel free to check that out and um, then you can go ahead and do that and that will send that particular quote over and then they can assess and let's say we go back to our um pipeline we've sent over our price quote we're up to negotiation slash review so let's say they're happy with the price that we've given they're just reviewing it and then they're going to come back to us in a day's time or whatever and confirm either uh, yes or possibly if anything unfortunately does change then it will be a no but okay let's say they've now come back to us and we've got our quote we've got our products all set up and then they closed and they are happy they want to go ahead and it's for x amount of money so let's say it was 50 pounds in total so we're update our, our amounts keep it consistent our closing date was not the not the 31st it was in fact the 28th so we clearly move efficiently and then we can obviously this stage is the close one stage and then we can press the save button and now we've completed and that is how to manage all of your deals one other thing obviously nothing is ever going to ha going to happen that quickly you're never going to complete a deal that quickly unless you are uh, a truly phenomenal salesman and um, one thing I will mention is if you use the drop down menu at the top, so we've gone back to our deals main page and use the Kanban view. I'm a great fan of the Kanban view and this just allows us to drag and drop the different records to the different stages. It makes it slightly more animated, slightly easier on the eye and easier to manage as well. It's so easy to just drag and drop from one stage to another and update as regularly and as easily as applicable for your different sales. So hopefully that has given you, this video has given you a good insight into how to manage your sales and all of that inside of your Zoho CRM system. And I'll see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now a master of the sales process inside of your Zoho CRM system. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to either drop a comment below or you can email me as my details in the description. Uh, we can have a chat, hopefully resolve any questions, queries you may have, um, and I'm obviously more than happy to help. So thank you ever so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.